Shalom Bocha. We are continuing learning from the wonderful introduction of the Raivad to the book that is called Sefer Yetzirah, the book of making. The book of making. We are in that um, third path out of 32 paths of holy wisdom. So the third path is called Holified Mind. And it's the foundation of ancient wisdom, and it's called Emuna Omen Veshorasheha Amen. It is called faith, the one that you believe in him, that he is the faithful one, and its root is the word Amen. What does it mean, Amen? Amen is the word that we use when we want to say, I wish that that thing will happen. Amen for that. And as well, when we want to confirm that that thing that we just heard is truth, we can say on that, Amen, as well. I agree. I support that thing that just was said. And it is the father of faith that from its power, the faith is coming down to the world. I'm going to read it now in Hebrew and then going to re-translate and explain as much as we can. The third path Nikra Sechel Mekudash, Vehu Yesod Hachochma Hakduma, Hanikra Emuna, Omen, Veshorasheha Amen, Vehu Avha Emuna, Shemikohoha Emuna Neetzelet. So, like we said, the light of our Maker is going down through 32 channels when He wants to make something happen in the world. So, that is the third channel that light comes down to the world through. And it's called an holified mind, it means it's holy, and it's been holy, been purified, been cleansed and purified by the Creator, prepared for its purpose. And it's the foundation of ancient wisdom, it means that ancient wisdom is the connection. Every time that we hear any combination with the word Kedem, Kadum, Kadam, early, ancient, we are talking about a period of time that is before time, ahead of creation. So the foundation of ancient wisdom is the connection to infinity. So that is the foundation. That is the place where when people like us wants to attach themselves to the root of wisdom, they go to that source. And it's called Emuna Omen Veshorasheha Amen. Faith is Emuna. Omen is the faithful one. And the root of all of that is Amen. What does that mean? Hemunah is faith that we have the option, the opportunity to believe in God, in the real true God. Omen is the fact that He is faithful. So there is no faith unless you have someone faithful that you can believe in Him, that He is trustworthy for you to count on Him, unless He is faithful. If He is not, if He wouldn't be faithful, um, the faith would have been a false faith, like idols worshipping. But here there is a very important detail, that the root of that faith in the trustworthy one is our word Amen, that we follow that faith and we believe that it is true and we want it to take place and to happen. Without us making the faith and believing in our Maker in a way that we follow His guidings, His advice, and keeping His word and worshiping Him and whatever anyone is doing for that sake, there wouldn't be no relationship. It depends in our agreement. The root of it is Amen. I believe in that and I follow that thing. And it is the source of faith. It's the father of faith that from its power, the faith is coming down to the world. So faith comes down to the world from the source of faith that is a believer that recognizes that there is a Creator and he follows him. That was the third path. Now, moving to the next, the fourth one. The fourth path is called Sechel Kavua, established mind. And it's called so, Shemimeno, because from it, Mit atzlim, coming down to the world, kol hakochot haruchaniot, all the spiritual powers, bedakut haatzilut, 
in all the thin ways that beautiful spiritual things coming down to the world through in beautiful gentle ways shemitatzlot elu me'elu that they are breaking down one from the other like branches that are thinner and their source is a thicker branch that is also attached to a thicker branch than it like a tree in the power of the ancient giver may his name be blessed Hanativa Dalet, the fourth path, Nikra Sechel Kavua, Venikra Chen, and he calls so, Shemimenu mitatzlim kol akochot haruchaniyot, haruchaniyot, that from it all the spiritual powers are coming from, Bedakuta Atzilut, in all their shades, in all their um, ways of revealings and, and reflections, that are coming down, Shemitatzlot Elu Me'elu, these from those, Bekoach in the power, Hamaatzil Hakadmon Yitbarach, the ancient giver, the one who influenced all that bounty. So the fourth path is a mind that is ready, it's stable, it's standing, it's available for us, and it's called so that it is established because all the faith that people has in spirituality, all the spiritual experiences and senses that people experienced ever in all their shades, in all their colors, in all their ways, that came down those from those that have been developed, have been seen in different generations, that came to us in the power of the ancient and beloved Maker, may His name be blessed, are set and established for us, means available. So we can experience them and they are here and they are set and they are revealing themselves to us to each generation according to its needs by the goodwill of our ancient maker. The fifth path is called Sechel Nishash, a, a planting or planting, I think, a mind that is being planting, that is being planted right now in the present time. It's bringing out its roots and establishing itself. And it's called so because it is etzem ha'achdut ha'shava, the core or the essence of equal unity. And it is unique in the essence of the power of understanding of the bina ha'ne'etzelet that comes down from geder, from the borders, from the fence, from the limits, of the ancient wisdom, a bit complex, but worth the try to understand. The fifth path, Nikra Sechel Nishrash. This is a mind that brings out roots, means that it's finding its way to us. It's looking for us, trying to help us. And it's called so, Venikra Ken, Mipnei Shehu, because it is Etzem Ha'achdut Hashava, the essence of equal unity. There is equal unity among all creations. There is equal unity. You want to live, I want to live too. Also an animal and the plant, they want to live. The world, the universe, they want to live. Everyone wants to live. So there is equal unity among us. You can never think that you're better than someone else. If you have a worker, an employee, even a slave, you need to understand that he is equal to you in the rights and in the um, needs that you must keep for him, that you must protect him, that you must supply him food and honor and respect and all his needs. You cannot put your head on a pillow if, you're, if your um, worker, your employee does not have a pillow as well. You must give support, respect and honor to all creations because everyone wants to live. And it is the most special in what? in the power of understanding that comes down to the world from the source and from the border of the ancient wisdom. Means it is the most unique because everyone can understand it. In the essence of its power of understanding that comes down from the fence of the ancient wisdom. It is the most unique light because it comes down to everyone 
to reveal the equal unity that has a source in an upper world, in the world of Kedem, in the world of ancient time before time. So the Creator, He is one. So for sure that to all His creations, He gonna have equal unity of love, unconditional love to all His actions. May Hashem bless us all to understand that wisdom more and more and to learn it more often and to understand the right conclusions and to walk with them for a long, long time and to prosper. Amen. You know me, my name is RDMC with the Muna Project. All the nations with me, close your eyes. Just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news. Be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good. From an endless spring, light up courage in yourself. You they can you kick you down, down to the ground. Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown. King of the creator, holy soul inside. Focus on the spiritual and you shall.